In our presentation of quantum key distribution, we have been talking about Alice sending photons to Bob that Eve might or might not intercept. But there is something inconvenient with this. We don't have off-the-shelf, on-demand, single photon sources to use in our protocol. If we have a source of light that sends pulses of photons and those pulses contain more than one photon, this is a source for Eve to get information without Alice and Bob knowing it. Imagine one of those pulses contains two photons and Eve does her attack by being in the middle and detecting Alice's photons and then send those photons to Bob. If that's the case, a two photon pulse that encounters a beam splitter, if they are of the same basis, beam splitter and photons, both photons will hit the same detector. But if the beam splitter is of the opposite basis as that of the photons, the beam splitter can send each photon to a different detector. This way Eve would know that she had the wrong basis because both clicked at the same time, and she will not send that pulse to Bob, reducing that way the cases of wrong basis choice. Bob will only miss that pulse, but will not know that Eve was there. If a pulse has three photons, even better for Eve. But there is more to this. Imagine Eve doesn't measure the photons directly, but instead places a beam splitter in the way. This is called the beam splitter attack. If a pulse contains two photons, one might go straight ahead to Bob, while the other is reflected and goes to if. Then the same information that will be detected and measured by Bob will also be detected and measured by if, and nobody will know one of the photons was lost. This introduces more danger to the communication the way most QKD setups are designed use attenuated lasers, pulsed lasers whose intensity is attenuated to the single photon level. That means that, on average, there is less than one photon per pulse, but pulsed lasers emit in a Poissonian distribution. In a Poissonian distribution, the probability that one pulse contains n photons is given by the mean photon number to the power of n over n factorial times e to the power of minus the mean photon number. The higher the mean photon number, the more likely to have photons, several photons in one pulse. So this bell-like curve shifts to the right. So there is a distribution of photons in the pulses, but we can't know how many photons are in one in each pulse. Some pulses will have one single photon, most pulses will be empty, but some pulses will have two or even three photons. The higher the mean photon number in the pulses, the larger the probability of a multi-photon pulse, and the less secure the key. How can we prevent Eve from tampering without multi-photon pulses? Well, there is the so-called decoy state protocol. This Poissonian distribution depends on the mean photon level, so in the intensity of the laser. Alice can send different intensities in each pulse. Let's assume that with every pulse Alice selects randomly from two different intensities. At this photon level, and because we are dealing with Poissonian distribution, this means that pulses will still contain 0, 1, 2, 3 photons, but the Poisson curve will be shifted, nor if neither Bob will know the intensities Alice chose. Only Alice knows which intensities she chose for each of the pulses. So Eve will only see that she gets photons that might come from multi-photon pulses without knowing about the intensity Alice chose for that particular pulse. 
but because it is more likely to have multi-photons from a high intensity pulse than from a low intensity pulse, it will be perturbing more the high intensity than the low intensity pulses. Alice can later check what Bob received and see if what he received is compatible with the intensity she sent. If Alice detects that the distribution of detections is unevenly detected by Bob, she has catched the presence of if. Alice has sent a decoy intensity to fish if in the process. Nowadays, most QKD protocols, those that are using lasers as a source of photons, are using this decoy method to prevent this beam splitter attack. Be careful with even may science be with you.